in terms of setting up your image, when you place the transducer on the breast, you want to adjust your depth to visualize the full thickness of breast tissue. So you want to be able to see that pectoralis muscle and chest wall uh, and uh, adjust your depth accordingly. You want to use the highest, highest frequency that will penetrate to the chest wall. And you want to adjust your grayscale so that the fat lobules are a medium dark gray. You don't want them black, or all solid masses will look like cysts. And you don't want them light gray, or all cysts will look complicated or solid. And you really want to concentrate on placing your focal zone at the expected depth of the finding. Um, with the breast being positioned supine, the patient supine on the ultrasound table, ultrasound locations are always going to be deeper than mammography or MRI abnormalities, just by the effect of gravity. With mammography, the breast is elevated and compressed. Uh, with prone MRI, the breast is pendant. Uh, so that tends to make the abnormality look more anterior or more superficial uh, whereas in ultrasound, gravity is at work, and uh, abnormalities tend to go a little deeper. Here's a little uh, case example of trying to optimize your setup. The image to your left is suboptimal. We're not penetrating the far field. It's black. Uh, we're using tissue harmonic imaging here, and that's one of the pitfalls of harmonic imaging is lack of penetration. Uh, the image size is too big. The area of interest should occupy at least half of the screen. Uh, and the focal zone is probably set too high. It should come down a little bit. The image to your right is a more optimized image. Here you can see down to the laminated pectoralis muscle. We can see skin line. And we can see fat lobules and echogenic septa within the breast. As you can see, because my focal zone is placed posteriorly, uh, the grayscale is a little altered in the near field. If I were to place my focal zone more superficially, those echoes would brighten up a little bit. But that's about the setting that you want. Here's an example of a superficial mass with erythema that is not optimally imaged on the left, but we've improved the image to the right. Um, on the left-hand image, we're using tissue harmonic imaging. And the focal zone is down here in the far field. What we want to image is higher up. So how can we make this image more pleasing, uh, more diagnostic? Well, let's start by putting a standoff pad and bring the focal zone up to the skin line. So now our focal zone is here at the posterior aspect of the abnormality. We're going to take off tissue harmonic imaging one of the things I find with harmonics is that you sometimes lose fine boundary detail. So in this case, on the suboptimal image on the left, it's, a, it's very difficult to visualize the skin line. Whereas on the optimized image on the right, now we can see the skin line, and we can see that this hypoechoic lesion is confined to the skin. So just by putting a standoff on, taking harmonics off and adjusting our focal zone, we've created a diagnostic image. Why is that important? As in the last case, we know that's an inflammatory process uh, confined to the skin. Here on a magnified mammogram, we see a superficial mass very close to the skin line. And on the accompanying ultrasound image, also using a standoff pad, we can clearly see the skin line and recognize that this mass, this heterogeneous hypoechoic mass with an echogenic margin, is below the skin. And in fact, this was a small invasive ductal carcinoma.